Is CCNA worth it in 2020? Today I'm going to be reviewing this course, breaking it down, looking at course content, job market, and value for money. So be sure to stick around until the end. Hi, my name is Tanay. My goal for this channel is to be a resource for those that are starting their journey in the network industry through tutorials, course reviews, tips and guides, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. This course needs no introduction. All of you have heard about this certification. This is the gateway course into networking, and it has grown to become the world's most desired IT certification. Honestly, I do not think that there's any other certification on the market that can rival CCNA. This is the benchmark course for networking. And if you can complete this course, then you'll be able to adapt in any networking environment. So why are we even asking the question if this course is worth it in 2020? There are two groups of people. Those that say that the networks have moved to the cloud and therefore there's no future in networking. And the second group are those that are starting their journey in the network industry and they're looking for a qualification to anchor their future. Now for the first group, Networks are not going anywhere anytime soon. Yes, the location might be changing from on-premise to the cloud, but even in the cloud, routing is still required. Now for the second group, this is the course for you. If there's one thing that COVID-19 demonstrated was how important networks are with most people working from home. So you're probably asking, what course content is covered in this course. You will be introduced to the TCP IP model, which is a framework of protocols that allow computers to communicate. The simplest way to explain this, I want you to imagine writing a letter to a friend in another city. You wanna write your letter, put it in an envelope, put a stamp, send to the mailbox, the postman collects all the letters, takes them to the post office, they sort, put on an airplane, arrives the destination, sorted, routed, until it gets to your friend's house. TCP does the same, but with computer packets using encapsulation. The course will then go ahead and teach about the fundamentals of local area networks. This is where you look at layer two switching with the core focus of campus networks. You learn about how computers connect to the network, the cabling types. You then look at the ethernet addressing uh, methods such as MAC address, unicast, broadcast, and multicast addresses. You will cover one technology such as least lines, DSL and MPLS. The course then goes and looks at IPv4 addressing and routing. This is where you're going to learn about IP addresses and why we need them, the different classes that are available. You look at layer 3 routing, trying to understand how routing works and how routers forward packets. You then look at the command line interface. Now this is the interface that you use to manage Cisco devices. The course will then teach you the two different methods, which are SSH and Telnet that we use to access those devices. You will then cover security on Cisco devices using access lists to filter traffic with standard, extended, and named access list. Now, this is just the introduction of the course. I've barely scratched the surface. The course then goes in depth, looking at configuring switches, routers, designing of networks, VLANs, subnetting, and various models of Cisco devices from routers to switches. Now they say that a building is only as strong as its foundation. I am yet to find a course on networking that is more comprehensive than CCNA. When you progress to higher levels such as CCNP and CCIE, you're gonna be covering basically the same content but with greater depth such as advanced routing, advanced BGP. But the fundamentals are taught in CCNA. If you don't have the certification, go and get it now. Don't argue with me, just get it. You'll thank me later. This is going to be one of the best investments in as much as certifications are concerned. If you're getting value from this video, please let me know by hitting the like button below. Job market. Having a CCNA certification acts as proof to hiring managers that you've got strong networking knowledge. CCNA is globally accepted and recognized. Now I'm talking about 
people who have knowledge and experience, not those who are paper certified and they have no clue about how networks work. You know the ones that I'm talking about. Now, on the Australian market, 5% of the IT jobs are looking for CCNA. On the UK market, 8% of the IT jobs were requiring CCNA certification. And in the US, on Monster, over 3,450 jobs are requiring CCNA. So the demand is consistent across three different continents. CCNA can be used for both entry level and senior networking positions. At the start of your career, the qualification and not much experience can get your job. But for more senior roles, it's gonna be the certification plus the years of experience. This range validates the value of the certification for those that are starting and those that are already in the industry. Now, depending on the position and the location, you can earn up to 60,000 US dollars or 80,000 Australian dollars per year. Now, this is based on tangible evidence. Whilst it's not cast in stone, but it gives you an idea of the earning potential of this certification. Now, I always encourage people to get the knowledge rather than the exam. But for this one, I would say go and get all your savings and go write the exam. For those of you who are certified and cannot find a job on the market, here's my question. Are you able to configure VLANs, routing protocols, BGP upgrade iOS images, design subnets, troubleshoot networks with confidence? If you can do the above and you're still failing to get a job, uh, please get in touch with me. My email is below. I would love to work with you to help you because if you can practically demonstrate these things mentioned, then I feel that you should have a job. If you are struggling to get experience, you can watch our video on how to get experience without a job. Uh, the link is somewhere on the screen. Who is this course for? According to Cisco, there are no prerequisites for the course. However, most people who have taken the course actually have some experience working with Cisco devices and have basic knowledge on implementing IP addressing. For me, if someone can go from high school to undergraduate, then you can do the same with CCNA. Yes, it might take you a bit of time to grasp the concepts, but that's the whole point of learning. However, if you have any other qualifications such as Network Plus, then they will act as a foundation. So for those who are asking about when to start, there you have it. Value for money. Now imagine you invested $1,000 on the stock market and in 12 months, you got 60,000. That is 5,900%. You definitely cannot get those rates on the market, but you can achieve the same with CCNA. The exam, the textbook, the practice exams in the video tutorials are going to cost you about $1,000. And you have a potential to earn $60,000 in 12 months. You make your choice, CCNA or the stock market. Now, this certification is respected in the industry and demonstrates your understanding of network fundamentals. This means that it's easy for you to cross from different vendors such as Juniper, Dell and HP equipment. Yes, you will relearn the syntax, but the fundamentals of access lists and BGP never change. So what you learned in CCNA is always going to stay relevant. As for equipment, Cisco is the lifeblood of many large organizations across the world, maybe excluding Iran. So there's a higher possibility of you encountering a Cisco device on the network than you being hit by a car. I mean, jokes aside, you can move countries and you are guaranteed that you're going to come across familiar infrastructure. As Cisco was the pioneer, almost every CLI on the market resembles a Cisco command line. So it becomes easy for you to change to different vendors, unless if you go to Juniper, then you're out of luck. So solid cost content, plenty of jobs in the market, huge return of investment, and respect across the industry. If you haven't bought a book by now, I don't know what you're waiting for. Thank you for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.